Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, my folks. How y'all doing out there? You know I'm back with another one. And in between time, in the meantime, in between time, sorry, I'm going to read you guys this word right quick. Because I know some of you guys want to hear this word, man. I know y'all want to hear this truth. I know what I mean? Even though some of y'all don't believe in the most high in these scriptures, man, this this the truth, man. For real. Without these scriptures, man, we'll be a lost people for real. So anyway, I just want to read Nehemiah on, well, I'm at, I'm at number nine, Nehemiah 9 and 27. And it says, Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies, who vexed them, and in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. So, the Most High God had delivered the children of Israel to the hands of their enemies. And the Lord and the Most High heard their cries when they was praying. He heard their cries from the heavens. Thou heardest them from heaven. And according to, according to thy manifold mercies, Thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. So we always have teachers and 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 brothers and sisters among us to um to save us who taught us the most high words in the scriptures. And they saved us out of the hands of my enemies. And during those times, you know, the Pharaoh, you know, the, the children of Israel was in the hands of the Pharaoh at that time. So the Lord had always sent messengers to warn the people, to tell the people. He always did that, even to this day. You still have messengers, you know, but some will hear, some won't hear. But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore thou therefore leftest them thou them in the hand of their enemies. So every time we go against the most high, as a nation of people. We always went through slavery. You know, the Most High always gave us or uh, put another people above us to torture us, basically, basically, so that we would come back to to the to our God. You know, the Most High He's always sent messengers. He always sent saviors to warn and to teach the people. You know. But we just a stiff necked people, you know. We just a stiff necked people, and the Most High knows that, and that's why He has to send saviors to help us, cause we will go off and we will be doing some of everything, you know. So let's go. Let's just go back to where we was. It say, but after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. You see that? So every time we get in trouble with the Lord, he put another nation of people above us. Yet they yet when they rest returned <coughs> and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. So the Lord heard the cries from the children of Israel from heaven. The Most High, He hears our prayers. 
and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies. So the Lord always delivered us, you know, out of our hands of our enemies, you know, because he loved us that much. And, you know, he basically wanted us to just follow his directions, his commandments, you know what I mean? And when we go off from doing that, he usually used chastisement, chastisement against us, you know, whether it's being put through slavery or whether him doing like just, you know, putting you in prison or putting you somewhere or doing something to you so that you will stop your sinful ways and come back to him. The Most High always going to use um, uh, judgment and chastisement against his people so that we may do better in this world. Okay? It say, Thou heardest them from heaven, and many times did thou deliver them according to thy mercies, and testified against them that thou may bring them again unto the law. You see, everything is about the law. It's, everything is about the Most High Law and His children, uh, the children of Israel following His law. And then the other nations of people following after us by us teaching the other nations uh, the truth about our God and His ways. Yet they dealt proudly and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy judgments. You see, we don't listen to the Most High um, commandments, but sinned against thy judgment, which if a man do, he shall live in them, and without, and, and withdrew the shoulder and hardened their neck, and would not hear. You see, I just said that we are a stiff-necked people. We want to do what we want to do when we want to do it. You know, we don't like to um, listen to authority. You know what I mean? And without the Most High, you know what I mean, giving His Word to us and to our forefathers and mothers, we wouldn't be here today, man. We would be. We wouldn't even be here. Yet many years did thou forbear them and testify against them by the spirit and the prophets. You see, the spirit and the prophets. Yet would they not give ear? You see, the prophets are always going to give you the message what the Most High is saying. Now it's up to y'all to listen. It's up to y'all to do what y'all want to do. But after the word has been told, the blood is off of our shoulders. It's off the prophet's shoulders. You know? And I wouldn't even call myself a prophet, to be honest with you. I just have the understanding of the Most High Word. And I share that wisdom that I was taught. You know? So, the Lord know that we don't want to hear His Word. He knows that. He put it in the spirit to have these people like this. You know, everything is about spirit. You know? Whether we want to, we think we're doing, you know, what we want to do. It's, at the end of the day, it's the most high spirit that's making us do these things. That's having us do these things. You know? We just playing the play that's, that, that, that's, um, that's written in the book. You know? So therefore gavest thou them into the hand of the people of the lands. Ne Nevertheless, for thy great mercies sake, thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful God. That man had so much grace for us and mercy for us, but sometimes we can run it up. And when we run it up, that's when he finished with us. You know, that's when he called us to the spirit world. So, glad y'all uh, was able to listen. 
Remember to like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in, tapping in. I'll be back with the next one. And uh, peace.